Hi, my name is Blake McGowan and I'm a certified professional ergonomist with Human Tech. Recently there's been a lot of talk and hype with regards to robotic exoskeletons in the workplace. Sometimes these devices are also called human augmentation devices. And this chatter has also increased recently because of a blog post by NIOSH. Well, for some of you in the health and safety community, these devices are seen to be the silver bullet in helping you reduce or eliminate forceful exertions in the workplace. Well, how soon are these devices going to make it to the, to the workplace? Well, let's take a look at three studies. The first one was done in 2015, and it's based off the Gardner hype cycle. And what they say is that these devices are at least 10 years away. Right now, we are in what are, is called the peak of inflated expectations, and we have to come down from that peak to the trough of disillusionment before we see an opportunity for common use in the workplace. Well, in 2016, there was another study done by a group of researchers in Europe, and they did a really nice job summarizing all the benefits and concerns of these robotic exoskeletons in the workplace. And they still say we're a long ways away. And lastly, in 2016, Dan Ferris from the University of Michigan put together a really nice summary, kind of putting together the state of the art, as well as the future directions of robotic exoskeletons. He predicts they're gonna be in use by around 2024. There's still gonna be a lot more disappointments before we see a lot of successes. Well, what are these challenges? Well, there's a number of challenges in making these usable in the workplace. One, they require a lot of power supply. Two, they're really heavy. They're also sluggish and bulky. They have a limited range of motion. They are sometimes described as very uncomfortable. They also require a lot of human energy expenditure, more than just doing the task on its own. There's also some concerns about things like muscle atrophy. atrophy sorry. There's also concerns about the expense. They can be very expensive. And lastly, there's a lot of safety concerns or unknown safety concerns. So what's the bottom line with regards to robotic exoskeletons? Well, they're at least 10 years away. So unfortunately, for many of you in the health and safety community, for the time being, we are not ready for them. They still need a little bit more work. For more information on Human Tech and the Bottom Line series, please feel free to visit us at humantech.com. Thanks, have a great day.